Hello, hello. Blessings, blessings. Thank you for coming on. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming on. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for coming on, guys. Thank you for coming on. Hello, Anita. Thank you for coming on. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming on. Hello, hello. Blessings to each and every one of you. I appreciate you joining my broadcast. Blessings, Prophetess Tamara. Thank you for coming on. Hello, hello. B. Wilkes, thank you for joining. Blessings, blessings, blessings. You guys, this is a quick scope. I'm on the road, but something the Lord impressed upon my heart um, for you guys. And I just wanted to share with you right quick. Blessings, blessings. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Real Marriage Ministry. When wise fight, families win. I am Meltoria Woodside. Blessings to each and every one of you. Thank you for coming on. And so this is just something that I want to share with you guys. Um, not not just for marriage, but I believe it's for um, the whole um, self, your, your whole self in every, every area of your life. It's important that you have physical, mental, and spiritual alignment. Blessings to each and every one of you. Blessings to your family as well. I believe it's so important for you to be, be, be aligned that I remember and I recall when I was going through, you know, difficult times in my life that, um, my spiritual health, my mental health, and my physical health in order for me to be a healthy fighter, and I'm talking about a healthy fighter in the spirit, everything had to be aligned. Everything had to be in order. And so many times, some of you guys, you're, you're trying to fight a battle and something is off, whether it's physical, mental, or spiritual. And there has to be a balance in your life because one without the other, listen here, you are a broken, wounded warrior. And so one thing that I did, I tried to make sure that I was having a balanced life, that I was getting some spiritual in, that's prayer, fasting, reading the word, whether it's listening to some something motivational, because let me tell you something, the enemy is taking your mind um, um, for a ride in the ballpark, a ride on the roller coaster. Many of your emotions are up and down, left and right. You know, you can't see fire for smoke, but let let me tell you something you have to take some time invest in your physical your 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 mental and your spiritual health you can't be physically healthy and you mentally messed up you can't be mentally healthy and your spirit man messed up. It have to be a balance between all of them. That's why some of you, you can't think right. You can't think right because guess why? You, you, um, 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 you don't eat some, listen, you don't eat. Nah, I'm guilty. Nah, I'm trying to act like I'm guilty. When you see time for me to pray, I can't even, it make no sense me trying to pray on a fat stomach. If you see me just had a big dinner, a big, I don't do late night snacks. When you see I'm getting ready for prayer, sometimes I will go to bed hungry because I know when time for me to go in the prayer closet, I need to, my belly need to be empty as else my belly would be. Listen here, it'll be hard for me to get to that place in prayer. And so I try to make sure that, that I don't eat, you know, a bunch of crazy food late in the night. And so, and so also I try to, to feed myself spiritually. I'm talking about some people, some people, woman of God, I read in the word. Um, um, I read in my Bible, reading the word and understand it and, 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 and reading your Bible is very important, but it's also equally important to understand what you read. And so some people may not be in a place to interpret or dissect the word of God. I believe that you have to be in a place where you're listening to someone that motivates you, listening to something that motivates motivates you spiritually because let me tell you something if you don't the enemy will speak into your head the enemy will take your mind for a roller coaster the only thing you will be listening to the enemy what your husband do what your husband might be doing what he did what he used to do it will take you listen here high up in the sky preparing you for a crash 
And so many people are not having that balance. Many people are not having that alignment. And I can always tell. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell because why? I have been in that place. I had to. I had to be intentional about physical health. I had to be intentional about mo emotional health. Emotional health. You have to find out what motivates you. What makes you happy. When you are down, what lifts you up? Let me tell you something. When the enemy went into David's camp and took all that they had, their wives, their children, their property, David had to encourage himself in the Lord. You have to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. No matter what it is that you're going through, no matter what news that you get, listen here, you could, you could, you could, you could just heard that, listen here, a plane crash on my house, but you have to be in a place that, listen here, that's okay. This, this only makes room for a new house. I'm going to get new furniture. My car just crashed. That's okay. I had a 2004 vehicle. Now I'm getting a 2018. You have to figure out how to motivate yourself. And this is very important. Self-motivation is important because you can't always pick up the phone and call somebody. Somebody ain't always, come on, that's what I, that's right, to keep yourself drowning from your sorrow. Absolutely. And so, and so you have to, you all know I get my tail, I got a tattoo, right? So you have to figure out how to do it. Let me tell you something. When I was on my emotional roller coaster, my husband figured out, all, my, my husband always knew how to get me out of the pit. Like seriously, I could be in the depths of the pit. My husband said, come on in. Let's go, let's go to the mall, let's go shop, let's go, let's go shopping, let's go buy something that always motivated me. And he noticed that there were times when I would have emotional pitfalls, when I'd be sinking into, you know, um, deep thought patterns of, of, of hurt and pain and what I went through and what we were going through. But my husband always, when he recognized that I was in that state, he would always say, honey, let's go, let's get out of the house, let's go for a drive. So you have to figure out what blessings, you have to figure out, hello what keeps you in a good mental state i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you the enemy operates in the area of your soul your mind your will and your emotions and so those parts of your life you have to pay attention to. When you see your emotion having a pitfall, that's the enemy. When your mind starts going into things that cause you feel um, 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 distraught, that's the enemy. Come on now. You got to recognize it. And once you recognize it, you have to figure out how to counteract it. You can't, when you say you start having bad thoughts, you can't just sit there and let those, those thoughts just role play inside your mind. You got to figure out what you got to do to counteract it. It's important. Let me tell you something. I told you guys before, I used to let my emotions take me on a, listen here, serious roller coaster ride until I read when the Bible says, let me tell you something, you have to think on the things that are lovely, the things that are noble, things that are good report. You have to think on these things. So what does this mean? You are responsible for your thought pattern. Some of you, you, you all need to you all need to, to, to pinpoint your happy place where there's pictures that would help you to rethink on some happy events you have to think on your happy place I'm telling you you have to be purposeful on making sure that you don't fall in the pitfall of of, 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 of this depression that your emotions don't be be, be um, 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 tampered with you have to do it. You have to be responsible for it. And sometimes we're crying, oh, Lord, I don't know why I feel this way. Oh, I don't know why these thoughts. Listen here, you have to counteract it. For many years, I allowed the enemy to, 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 to just drown my mind with thoughts that always put me in a bad place until I had to be intentional about stopping the enemy in his tracks. It had to be something that I did. I didn't just wake up one day and the thoughts stopped. I had to 
rebuke, hello, the enemy. I had to be intentional about what I think about. The enemy is offering you these bad thoughts. Are you going to, 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 to just think on it from one thought to the next and deeper thoughts? You, first of all, you're thinking about Monday, then you start thinking about Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Let me tell you something. I learned how to shut down the enemy. That's right. The, the enemy is not going to live rent free in my head. Absolutely. And so you have to be intentional about it. Now, I know, now, I too have trouble with this physical, physical health. I too, I still struggle with it, but it's important. It's important. It's important. Let me tell you something. Some of you are sick. Some of you are experiencing sickness in your body because your mental health and your spiritual health. You're in poor mental mental health and you're in poor spiritual health. So the enemy is attacking your physical health. I, I listen here when I was going through you guys, I always listen here, every time the cold the flu season passed, I get it. Every time listen here, it, I, I'm telling you, if the flu season came around three times a year, three times a year, I was getting it. And it was odd to me because it never used to happen before. It was something that was unusual to me. And I had to really question, like, why I always sick? I always sick with some cold. I always sick with some flu. I always was sick. And so I, I it was odd to me. It, 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 it really caught my attention. And so I had to ask the Lord why I was sick. And then, and then I, I, there was something that I was listening to. That talked about, listen here, when your spirit off, when your when your mind off, your physical could be off. And so I understand, come on now, the, the spirit week, you are weak in the physical, absolutely, because the spirit, come on, sit up. Because what, listen here, whatever, whatever happens in the spirit manifests in the physical. And so I realized that, hold on, I, I, I have to do something about this. And so I was more intentional about, you know, watching YouTube videos of stuff with inspirational, st stuff that helped me, stuff that keep me on course and, and what I was thinking and what I was feeling. And so listen here, I had to be intentional about doing that. And so it, it wouldn't just happen. It, it wasn't just happening. Glory be to God. It ain't just happen, people. And I know, listen now, like I tell you guys, reading your Bible is good. Reading your Bible is good. Awesome. Because there are times when, listen now, you could be in situations, the word is going to come up in your spirit and you ain't even going to realize, like, when did I know that scripture? Where did I know that from? How did I know that? But at the same time, you got to, you have to be, you have to feed your spirit man. Make sure that your spirit man is getting fat and healthy. And this, you know, and I thank God for Periscope because I ain't even had Periscope back in that day to encourage me. I had YouTube though. Blessings for YouTube. Y'all don't be dissing YouTube. YouTube is a blessing. YouTube bless my life. I'm telling you, YouTube bless my life. And so listen here, I had one thing that I had. I had a major, major problem with prayer. And it's so crazy that... The thing that I had the, 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 the greatest issue with is blessing my life today. I had a huge problem with prayer. I'm talking about the Our Father prayer was a problem for me. Seriously. Like it was so difficult for me to pray. I, I, I felt guilty about it because I wasn't always like that. I, I, I had, listen here, prayer was my go-to thing. But I got in such a place of depression. Come on now. I had to get I was in such a place of depression where I stopped praying, I stopped reading the word, I stopped listening to my motivational things, and it and it got me in a place where, listen, I was drowning. I wasn't even in water, and I was drowning. But guess what? Guess how I had to get up out of that space? I had to be intentional about praying every day, two, three times a day. I had to be intentional about, listen here, Lord, teach me how to pray. I had to be intentional about it. Many of you, I know I know a lot of people and many of you, and you know what? I'm trying not to be a, a, a crutch for some of you. Woman of God, I need you to pray for me. Woman of God, I need, to, need you to pray for me. 
I don't mind praying and interceding for people. But let me tell you something. Your prayer is more powerful than my prayer because you have more authority over your life than I do. And so I try to, I try to not be a crutch for people. I know some people need it. And I know some people listen to woman of God. I just need you to intercede on my behalf. But listen here, you got to be intentional about building your prayer life. You have to be intentional about it because there are times when, when you need, when you think you need me to pray, Meltoria is not available to you. So you have to learn how to get on your own knees, hello, and trouble the throne for yourself. This is the problem with many believers. We are too dependent on other people. You cannot be depending on, dependent on other people. You cannot be a dependent in the spirit realm. You have to be able, listen, to, you got to be able to touch your own body, that your own own body is healed you got to be able to touch your own circumstances that just own circumstances change you cannot be looking woman i need the prayer warriors i need the intercessors no you need to get on your knees and you need to learn how to pray and in order for you to do this you got to do spirit building you got to do spirit building and one thing that I understand, let me tell you something, with all the greatness that is happening with wise husbands coming home and, 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 and marriage is being restored, let me tell you something. It's not because of my intercession. It is not because I am believing for your family. It's because I am partnering with you. And the Bible says that when two or three come together touching any one thing, there he shall be in the midst. So I can pray and intercede on behalf of your family all day and all night. But if you don't join me and partner with me, you ain't going to see change. I see people that have partnered. I have partnered with with who I have come on board with what they are doing, that they are making the declarations, they are praying for their family, they are the one fasting, they are the one that giving. I am only partnering with them. Hello, that we are, you know, the Bible says a three a three court strand is not easily broken. And when many of you feel as if, oh, my husband, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't interested, my husband he ain't on board, you know, he ain't, listen here, I am standing in the gap so we can have that three, four, Cord. Me, you, and Holy Spirit, we doing this together. But many of you, you all want just say, woman of God, pray for my family and you ain't praying. Woman of God, I need you to help me with this and you ain't doing nothing. You got to make sure that you are in alignment. If something off, everything off. If your spirit off, your physical off. You're physical off, you're mentally off. Come on, somebody. You got to renew your mind. You have to, you have to renew your mind. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let me tell you something. Many of you have an issue with standing for your marriage because you are conformed to this world. Your thinking is, is you are, your thinking is the world thinking. If you don't change your thinking from the pattern of this world, it can be difficult for you. Let me tell you right now. Because many of us who are fighting and many of us who are winning, we had to endure things that the world would not endure. My husband disrespected me, cussed me out, called me anything but a, but a woman of God, but I had to endure it. There were times when I know my husband was out there messing around with another woman, but I didn't pack up my bags and go nowhere. I had to endure it because I know that the Bible says that weeping may endure but for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Be not conformed to this world. You get people in your ear talking, oh, you ain't got to deal with that. This thing and the next thing and it causing you to run from your family. Your husband would look like the devil today. Let me tell you something. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And so, and so, and so when the enemy may be using your husband at the moment, you have the power and authority to cast the enemy out. But because you're too busy listening to the world, you cannot get just yourself in alignment. You can't get yourself in the headspace that you could walk properly for your family. And so you have to have a renewed mind. You're on the emotional roller coaster because your mind is not renewed. 
When my husband, I, 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 I was in a place where my husband say stuff to me. Let me tell you something. It would cause me to be distraught, crying for days. Come on. Too busy listening to the world. Get busy listening to God. And then too, at the same time, I, became, I, I got into a place where my husband couldn't tell me nothing to hurt me. His words could not hurt me. Because it was like, it was like, listen here, I, that ain't what the Lord say. I, no, no. Come on now, I don't care. I don't care. And so you have to be, you have to change your mind, your mindset, your perception. How do you look at the situation that you are going through? Yes, people may be thinking you're crazy now, but those same people who think you're crazy, oh, y'all keep watching. Keep watching. Don't worry. The script is going to change in just a minute. Just keep watching. Stay tuned, people. Good. Stay tuned, people. Glory be to God. The same people who thought I was crazy back in the day is the same people who are watching me. Wow, she is a powerful woman of God. Wow, I admire you. The same people, yeah, let me tell you something. The same people who thought it was crazy that I was fighting for my husband. The same people. The same people that tried to destroy my marriage are now the ones that are the same people who are looking at my videos. Come on now and seeing me publish books because of what I've gone through. The same people. Come on now. The same people talking about relationship goals. Yes, it's them. The same people who wishing bad on your marriage is the same people. Move. It's the same people who gonna see you victorious. It's the same people who gonna see your husband change and turn around. People, I do love you, but you just need to stay on my periscope. The same people who don't count your, count your husband as lost. It's the same people who are going to respect him. He is going to have to minister to the same people who we once ride with. I only telling you all testimony. <laughs> my tail cracks me up every time, yes. I only telling you all my testimony, y'all. My husband, now that he's a changed man, now that, come on now, lurking, looking, and laughing at you, the same people could be the one to praise you. Oh. My God, that's my testimony this week. Come on now. The same people that, that, that ride with my husband, the same people that rolled with him whilst he was doing his messes, the same people now that God has restored him. Come on now. They look up to him now. Now he could be a living testament, hello, for the glory of God. Let me tell you something. I tell you, the Bible said, if you want to be a follower of Christ, you got to take up the cross. Some of y'all want to follow Christ and y'all want the glory, but you don't want to carry the cross. It was good that I was afflicted. It was good. Come on, somebody. Laughing now, but eat those words. Come on now. If I had not afflict, been afflicted, I would not be the woman that you see here today. If I had not been afflicted, I would not have been an author for two book, of two books. Come on now. Invitations. Woman of God, we need you to speak for us. Had I not been afflicted? Sometimes it's okay. Let me see how the Bible says, what the enemy make for bad, God turns it around. Hello for your good. And when the enemy tried to destroy me and my family, now me and my family, hello, is a testimony for the goodness and the glory of God to see. I'm talking about what is your perspective? How are you looking at this? Come on now, Yvette. That's the spirit of confusion. Had I not been through it, had I not been through it, my eyes would have been closed. I would have been sleeping in the spirit. I ain't even talking about it in the natural. I'm talking about it in the spirit. Now I can recognize the enemy from a mile away. I could get, listen here. I could, I could just get in an atmosphere and I could already identify there's something not right here. Had I not been afflicted. Glory be to God. Had I not been afflicted, I would not have developed a life of prayer. 
Come on now. That's right. My affliction have been a road map, map to your, your victory. Absolutely. What you are going through, you will help many. As a matter of fact, because you are going through, many ain't got to go through what you're going through. There are some people that, listen here, listen here. This ain't, this ain't even no, this ain't even no uh, praise to me. My husband say, honey, I don't believe they really understand the magnitude of what you've really been through. I need to pee. Okay, one second. Hold one second. Glory be to God. Y'all give me a second so I could see with Mateo right quick. Wait, Mateo, Daddy, come up here right now, right? Many are the affliction of the righteous. Many are the affliction. Many are the affliction. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord shall deliver them, deliver them from them all. Every single thing that you're going through, God will deliver you from. Everything that you're going through, God will deliver you from. It's already set. It's already in motion. It's already happened. Your deliverance has already taken place. God ain't need to do God, God don't need to come do nothing new that He already did. He already, hello, He already delivered you before you even got in trouble. Daddy, come in. Yeah, Daddy, come in. Delivered from all everything. And while people think that, seriously, people think that, that mar there is something in marriage that God can't fix. I just, listen here, I have people tell me all the time, woman of God, you know, I know what you're going through. I've seen your testimony, Mooney, but you have to hear my story. It don't even matter what your story is. It don't, it don't matter what your story is. And I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem telling somebody, listen here, it don't matter what you're going through. God is able to deliver your husband from that. God is able to, to turn your marriage around from that. Come on. Not, like, like what? The, the Lord could deliver me from financial issues, but my marriage is too great for him. What? Woman of God, my husband is abusive. Okay, and is there a devil in hell that we don't have a power over? When, he, when the Bible says that we have given the power over all the powers of the enemy, you just have to get your head together, your spirit together, and your physical. Let me tell you why it's so, it's so important for your physical mind to be in, in alignment. Because let me tell you something, your physical man, it's what give your spiritual man, hello, the power to operate here on the earth. If you, if you ain't physically fit, who, can, who or what can withstand God? Come on now. If you ain't physically fit, let me tell you something, you, can't, you cannot effectively carry the word. Because why? One thing that I realized and the Lord spoke this something to me when I was on a 40-day fast a couple of years ago. He said, this has to be your life. Because when you're talking about dealing with the enemy, you got to make sure that he have no avenue in order to afflict you. And, and many people, and many people are, are out here, listen here, ministering the word of God, but you get high blood pressure, you get diabetes, you get all these things. So now here it is when God needs you to do something, you can't do it effectively because you got some, you got some, some health issue you got to deal with. You, you, your, your spirit man, I don't care how spirit, powerful your spirit man is, your spirit man cannot do nothing on the earth without your physical man, without this physical body, without this temple. This temple gives our spiritual man access to the earth. Come on, somebody. Your physical man, this body here, this vehicle, this shell gives your spirit man authority to move on the earth. Your spirit man can't move on the earth without this body. 
So you got to make sure you're taking care of this body. Like when you come out of the situation, you got to be in a position where God can send you from, 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 from here to Dubai. And you're able to travel. You're able to make the trips. I see men and women of God, they got to go from one pre preaching engagement to the other. You, you got to be physically fit to do that. Listen, now, listen now, I, I, sometimes I, will, I don't even travel nowhere. I right, right here on Periscope, when I come on Periscope ministry and feel like I just, feel like I just minister between over a thousand people and run up and down the stage and I ain't even more from the spot I was in. We have to pay attention to make sure that we are made whole. Mental, physical, and spiritual. Do I give readings? Wrong scope, so. Anyhow, I just came to drop that on you guys. I pray that you be encouraged and I pray that you learn how to encourage yourself. You have to learn how to get on your knees. If you don't know, let me tell you something. The word of the Lord says that the Lord is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Lord, show me how to pray. Don't all the time pass it. Listen, here, don't pass your problem to somebody else. The issue that you have with your husband, don't pass your problem to somebody else. You learn how to do it yourself. And so be, let me tell you why you learn how to do it yourself. Because you will be able to listen here. You see this devil from a mile away. That you're able to handle it if and when it comes, if and if it comes again. And so you have to seek how to pray. Let me let me get a hold on this. Because I've been praying for two years and ain't nothing happened. Ain't nothing wrong with God. You've been praying for two years and ain't nothing happening. And you ain't getting no breakthrough. It's nothing wrong with God. Your situation ain't moving, things ain't looking right. There is nothing wrong with God. He is perfect. So the question that you need to ask yourself is, what am I doing wrong? And you need to seek what it is to do it right. Don't give up. Just change your strategy. Just find another way. How can I do it right? Because there is a way. Come on now. There is a way. If, pe if, if people could pray, hello, and get breakthrough, you can pray and get breakthrough. Because God is not a respecter of persons. But we need to find out what is the strategy to, to, to get in heaven to hear my voice. What is the strategy? And some of you need to seek the strategy. The Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Be intentional about seeking the Lord. Don't only seek the Lord because you're having a problem. Things good so you forget to pray. Things good so you ain't reading your word no more. Things good so you ain't fasting. Things good so things things good so you ain't giving no more. No. You got to. This has to be a continual thing. It has to be continual because listen here, the enemy ain't gonna never stop attacking you. Come on, not worshiping because you ain't feel like it. The devil is a liar. You have to seek your hello, still fighting despite the hell that I've transpired. Absolutely, Yvette. That's exactly what you got to do. No matter what you're going through, you got to be consistent. Consistent. Consistency is so key and important. There were times when I broke consistency in prayer. Listen, it was so difficult to get back at it again. It was so difficult. Make it a habit. Make it a habit of praying. Make it a habit of, 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 of sowing. Make it a habit of worship, like a daily thing. Not, not just every other day. When you get up out your bed, worship. Whilst you, listen here. You have to understand, and especially you wives... Just as there are some things we do every day. I don't know if everybody does it, but there are some things we do every day. You go to the bath. This is for me. This is for me. I go to the bathroom every day, every single day, two, three times a day. Washing dishes. I wash dishes two, three times a day. Like without fail. Don't care how I feel. I could be sick. This can happen. I could be sick, I gotta use the bathroom. Hello, I could be sick, I gotta bed off. I gotta be I could be sick, I gotta I gotta um 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 um, um wash dishes. Listen, I could be sick, I gotta tend to my children. When you see me cleaning, I'm praying. 
when you see some of y'all y'all drive every day every single day when i drive my husband this is something that my husband do when he's on the road he prays when i when i wash in dishes i'm praying when i'm bathing off i'm praying Sometimes when I'm using the bathroom, listen here, I'm praying. Even if it's a short prayer, I am praying, always praying. This is, this is where the Bible says we must pray without season, pray without stop, always pray. Come on, my, come on, my car has my prayer closet, absolutely. Always praying, building your spirit, man. Not just once you, you have an issue and, and you won't cry before the Lord. Let not the only thing the Lord hear is you're crying because you need something. Make yourself a vessel for the Lord. Glory be to God. There you see your sister and brother falling. Pray for their salvation. Pray for their strength. Pray that they get up. Now I ain't encourage nobody to take on no, no prayer for marriages and you, you still have issues in your marriage. I stand on that. Because the enemy knows where you are, where you are. There are certain things that we no matter what your situation is, we ought to pray for. And that's if, you're, if you see your brother and sister fall, and you ought to always pray for them. That's biblical. I ain't sending nobody to war for nobody's family, and you still fighting that battle for yourself. I ain't sending nobody that. But you have their things you have to pray for. Your government you have to pray for. Your nation you have to pray for. Your city you have to pray for. Don't always go to the, to, 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 to the heavens because you have an issue. Listen, here, that's why a lot of you are not getting your prayers answers because you are too selfish. You selfish. The only reason why you pray in any house is because you have marital problems. Stop being selfish. Sacrifice for another. There are times when I have an issues. I need God to move for me, but I can't. That's not the, the order of priority of my prayer today. I have to intercede on behalf of somebody's marriage. I partner with Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I need you to move in this area of my life. But guess what? That's not a prayer priority for me. I got to pray for somebody. There's somebody out there need because somebody out there is going to give up on their marriage. I need to intercede for their strength. And let me tell you something. Many of you believe this. Many, many of my prayers concerning marriages is for your strength. I, 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 I started off, Lord, restore their marriage, restore them. But let me tell you something. My major prayer is for your strength. Because you need to be the one to petition the heavens for your marriage. You got to be the one who, 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 despite what you're going through, could say that my husband is a man of God. You got to be the one to say it. Come on now. I can't walk for your husband like you could walk for your husband. Let me just let you all know right now. I can't. There is only certain, listen here, there is only, let me tell you something. Let me, let me have you all to understand this. That great book that we have, that's a book of laws. And there are certain laws, hello, that 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 is governed. The earth is the, the spirit realm are governed by laws. Come see me talking about I interceding on behalf of your husband. I'm sorry, sorry, who are you? The spirit realm is like, well, I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? You have more power than me concerning your husband. You do. You have more power than his mother. Hello? Because the spirit realm recognized that, hey, this is now his wife. And so many of you, no matter what his mother, his sister saying, let me tell you something, all you got to do is trouble the truth. Who you think heaven can hear concerning him? Come on now. So I pray in partnership, Lord, strengthen this wife. Lord, help her. Lord, make us strong. Lord, let her make decisions that are wise concerning her family. Glory be to God. And so that's just wisdom. Just, just wisdom. I partner with you. I cannot do it without you. People come to me all the time. A oh, woman of God, could you play for this couple? Or could you pray for that couple? Yeah, but I need to partner with one of them in order to do it. Come on now. Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven concerning this family. But ultimately, you have to be the one that is praying and partnering with me. 
Come on now. So listen here, you guys. I pray that this was a blessing to each and every one of you. For those of you who are just joining me, thank you for joining me. I am author of the book, When Wise Fight Families Win. Also, I just released a journal, Fight to Win, the battle plan for fighting for your marriage. I believe it will be a blessing to you. I believe the journal will help you. Hello, bless. Thank you. Thank you. Praise Holy Spirit. I believe the journal is going to help you in order to, to, to build a habit for you um, 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 to fight for your marriage. It's a habit. It's scriptures. It's telling you, listen here. When I was going through, I had to make a decision based on the scripture that says, listen here, let's decide on a matter and it shall be established for you. It was a decision that I had to make. And so it's a, the, the journal is to help you, to guide you spiritually, to build a habit of seeking the Lord concerning the warfare that you're facing in your marriage. Listen, this is a spiritual battle. We have to learn how to war in the spirit concerning our marriages. So those of you who have already begun to purchase the journal, I appreciate you guys. The journal is going to only, I'm only going to be doing signed copies at the conference fight to win coming up April 6th and 7th. Listen here, you guys. Awesome, awesome news. The the registration pride I have found favor 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 listen here you guys I've had favor with the venue and I'm so excited God is moving and because I got favor with the venue I'm able to drop the registration price I'm excited to announce that listen and my husband said I sell myself too cheap but I believe in making things like like so everybody can purchase. I, I just like that. So for me, things are not always, you know, my that's why my husband has have to take the wheel because I'm not all about I'm not about profits. I want to get things into people's hands. I want to be be uh, I want to be available for people to have access. And so and so when you know what? I was like, Lord, you know what? I didn't like the price. I said, God, I need you to move. Listen here, God moved, gave me favor with our venue. And so for that reason, I'm able to cut the registration price. It's going to be listed on the um on the um on the Facebook and on my website. So those of you who have not purchased, for those of you who have already purchased, let me tell you something. I'm definitely, definitely going to refund you. I have no problem with doing that. I'm excited to do that. I'm always excited about making things accessible for many. I don't want a few people to have access. You have to register. Um, the conference overall is free. The night service is free, but you have to register for our day service, which is Saturday morning. We're having something special. You have to register for that so even if you are interested in coming to the conference but you say woman of god i don't have the registration you still can come so, someone say you're such a good person too good too good too good what about the hotel um the hotel we are planning to to try and get um a discount for the hotel that's still in the process but you can check out the price that it is now um um bless it i have the hotel information listed um with the ticket so if you scroll down with the ticket information it'll tell you the hotel you can ch check out the location we're going to be working out discounts we don't know how that's going to work out but we're just praying and asking the lord for favor in that area as well i believe that listen here lord you told me to do this conference so you gonna provide the favor for it so I bless the Lord for that, and I thank you guys for your support. I thank you, thank you so much. Listen here, I only released my second book a few days ago, and people are purchasing it. So, woman of God, I'm going to bring it for you to sign at the conference. I'm so thankful for those of you who are making plans to attend the conference. I am so, so, so grateful to you. I'm thanking you for your support. Thank you, bless you, each and every one of you. Listen here, understand this. I am continuing to pray for your marriage I'm continuing to partner with you guys I know some of you say woman of God please pray for my marriage listen here I've not, I've not stopped I'm still believing I know God is going to do great and amazing things I know that the Lord says that he will never allow the righteous to be put to shame I believe that you're not fighting this battle that you may lose but you are going to indeed win you just have to enjoy you have just have to don't quit continue to believe in God but continue 
Hello to do what you do. Listen here, for those of you who are sowing into the ministry, I thank you so much for your seeds. I am praying for your seeds. Understand it, that this is the Lord that caused it to grow. And I know that, listen here, this is a principle. If you sow, you shall reap. So let me tell you something. Every seed that you have sown, you shall see the manifestation of what you are believing God for. I tell people all the time, when you sow seeds, make sure you label your seed so, and keep track of it. Keep track of it. So let me tell you something. You ain't going to be the one that said, oh, I used to sow, but I ain't get nothing yet. Let me tell you something. You track your seed. You label your seed. So when you see your husband saved, it's no doubt. It's no question that the Lord have definitely caused your seed to grow. Listen here. Understand this. The Lord is mindful of you. The Lord is thankful. Listen here. And he's, listen here. You're not sowing into this ministry. Means that you are partnering with the Holy Spirit for marriage restoration. Glory be to God. And for, for you doing it, uh, making the Lord's work possible. Understand this. Something the Lord just ain't allow you to be put to shame. So listen here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I bless you. Thank you for coming on. Love you. Continue to share. Continue to follow me on Patreon. Periscope, uh, YouTube, Meltoria W, Facebook, Fight to Win. Join our group, our private group. Okay. Listen, to it. it will be a Where's blessing the to you. You want a tablet? Yeah. Okay. You'll see. He, he have to come up in my face to get my attention. Anyhow, y'all, that's you guys. That's it. Have a good day.